Today I'm going to show you how I curry my bygone. Curried coconut bygone, as we call it in TNT, is a flavorful and aromatic dish that combines a rich taste of coconut milk with the earthy notes of eggplant, all seasoned with a blend of aromatic spices. The eggplant absorbs the curry flavors and becomes tender, creating a harmonious balance of taste and texture. Additional ingredients such as onions, garlic, and ginger, and various spices like cumin, coriander, and turmeric contribute to the complexity of flavors. All right, so the first step for our eggplant, or bygone as we call it here, is to make our curry sauce. So hot pot over medium to high heat, going in with some mustard oil, then we're going in with some freshly picked carpele leaves. I'm just gonna tear them up a little bit just to help open up the flavor. Let me just move around my oil to check the temperature. Right, anytime you see oil running around like that, you know it nice and hot. In goes my leaves, followed by some fenugreek or meaty seeds as we call it here and some whole cumin or jira seeds as we call it. All right, so I just wanna allow these ingredients to marry, open up, infuse this flavor into the oil. Then we're gonna go in with our onion and hot pepper. Of course, this pepper, if pepper is not your thing, you don't have to use pepper. Go in with our onion. Evenly mix everything, allow the onion to absorb the oil. Give the onions about two minutes to cook, break down, release moisture, change, change color, become a little more translucent. Right, so now we're gonna continue to build flavor. Now I'm going in with some dried pimento flakes, Charlo Farm people. If you do have access to fresh pimento, this is your best bet. Next, same thing. We always get a lot of questions about our substitutes for pimento and shadow benny. Well, well, here we have the perfect substitute for shadow benny, dehydrated shadow benny. Of course, if you have access to the real thing, by all means, use that. But this is your best bet after that. And we have another excellent dehydrated product here some thyme to lime this is dehydrated thyme mixed in with some lime so we're just going to use a little bit of this about a quarter teaspoon or so in we go give this a good mix allow our pimento shadow benny and thyme to lime some time to open up hydrate absorb the oil absorb the moisture from the onion so let everything come together well let everything marry right so as you can see here the onions starting to get dark brown in color that's my sign to go in with our ginger and garlic i always like to add the garlic and thing a little later on as it burns quickly so you don't you don't ever want to rush to add garlic and I love to crush my garlic. It helps to release the oil before I cut it up. Oh yeah, so you just wanna give this about 60 to 90 seconds. While this is cooking, we're gonna hydrate our curry. And again, we're using another locally made product, curry powder from Golden Roots. So what you wanna do, again, you always remember, curry is a dehydrated product. So what you want to do to ensure even and thorough cooking is to help it out. Hydrate it. You can even hydrate it the day before, the evening before. Just hydrate it in some water. You can hydrate it in yogurt. You can hydrate it in coconut milk. Whatever liquid you're using, whatever liquid you're cooking with. So just want to mix it up to help dissolve and evenly incorporate our curry powder before we add it directly into the pot. Give that a mix. I'm still on medium to high heat here. I haven't changed the heat since we started. 
gonna give this a good mix. This is already pretty thick, but we wanna let all the moisture evaporate. Let our curry mixture thicken and almost stick to the pot before we add some more water to further hydrate it. Right, so as we can see, this has thickened up to a thick paste, almost like a dough-like consistency. So what we wanna do just to be safe, we're gonna just add about a quarter cup of water again, just to make sure we thoroughly cook our curry powders. And also you wanna properly hydrate your whole seeds, the meaty seeds, fenugreek seeds, cumin or jira seeds too. You wanna give them time to open up and release its flavor. So these are things you do not want to rush. So as you can see, it's once again thickened down to a thick paste. So what we're gonna do now is add our coconut milk. It's gonna break up our onion and curry mixture. So what we want to do now is cover this, reduce the heat between low to medium, and let it thicken up. While that's thickening, we'll prepare our eggplants. All right, so while our sauce is thickening up, we use this time to cut and prepare our bygone eggplant or aubergine, whatever you know it as. So I'm leaving the skin on, and I'm just gonna cut this up into like some one inch cubes. Transfer them to the bowl. I prefer to cut it up just before you're gonna add it in, just so that it doesn't begin to oxidize and get dark in color. And I like the skin. I like to leave the skin on. You could, you could peel it off, but it just adds another element of texture. So now that we've diced our eggplant, now it's time to add it directly into the curry mixture. You wanna do this while your sauce is still thickening up because you wanna give the your eggplant as much time to absorb as much of that curry sauce goodness. Turn it over just to help fully coat all the pieces of eggplant before we cover it. Now, heat will cause the eggplant to break down, so some people even mash it up and let the egg eggplant break down completely, but kinda like the little chunks in it still. Let's press it into the sauce. I'm gonna cover it and give it about five minutes while we check. Alright, so let's uncover our eggplant and check it out. Alright, so as you can see, it's come down in volume. The ones at the bottom have started to break up. So we're about halfway there. So at this point, and this was probably five or seven minutes of cooking over medium to low heat. So at this point, halfway through the cooking process, gonna add in some tomatoes. This will help to thicken, thicken it. It will help to add a little color, mild acidity. So we're just gonna let this continue to go for about five minutes again, and we'll come back, check the consistency. Once we're happy with that, just time to taste. So another five minutes has elapsed. So let's check our melon gin. Nice job. Excellent. How's the timer going off there? So it's thickened up and continue to bro break down. But let me just show you how much it brings. See? So even though some pieces still looking whole or is whole, it's it's cooked. See how the, see how the eggplant has, has broken down? Show you one more time. But I still like the the bigger pieces, you know? Rather than just letting all of it just mash up. So now is time to 
continue to build on flavor. So we're going in with some white pepper, just so we do and change the color of our mixture, of our sauce. Some salt, brown sugar, and some lemon juice. The reason for those last two ingredients is which we wanna balance out our, our flavors. We have heat from the pepper earlier, salt, saltiness, sugar for the sweetness, coconut milk, and tomatoes will also provide sweetness, and the lemon juice will help balance it out with the acidity and the tomatoes as well, with a mild acidity. Oh, look at that. So now we can switch off. And the only thing left to do now is to taste. So let me grab a spoon. All right, so let me get me a piece of bagel. Let me get a piece of tomato in it too. Let me get some sauce. And this is gonna be hot. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. First thing I'm getting is the coconut milk. Creamy. You get the curry, a little hint of pepper at the end in the back of my throat. The bygone is cooked all the way through. It, it literally melts in my mouth. Excellent. Now, you could eat this with rice. It's an excellent meat substitute. If you want to eat this with naan, or just, just add it to one of the many curry options when you're making curry at home, you know? So it's an excellent dish. Let us know what you think, of course. As always, send us your feedback when you make it. Let us know if you have your own way of making it. You know, we'd love to hear from you all. We love to hear the different cooking methods. And as always, thanks for watching.